G'day traders, Mindset Reset, Free Cash Tuesday. Today uh, we're going to talk about some of the hidden potholes in day trading. Some of the uh, minefields that you'll tiptoe through and uh, some of the things that I've put in place for myself. The purpose of building the playbook, the purpose of having a, an understanding of hunting out best trade setups. All the little things that you'll encounter, uh, it's like what Mike Tyson says, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. And I've often said that in the past, you know, I'd, I'd go on these streaks, I'd make up a, I'd build up a small account into a bigger account and a bigger account. And then like on a Friday night or on a, just on a whim, on a whim trade, I would, I would start to come unraveled. I'd take a little position in a, in a market where there was just no edge, wrong timings, not even part of a plan, just randomly taking an impulsive trade because I was overconfident because I thought I could do what I want and scalp in and out and, and grab some money and some pips. And ultimately those little, those little errors in judgment are what would cause me to uh, get into a losing trade and then start to average into it and average into a loser until that loss blew out so big that it either blew me out or it margined me out. Um, but it blew out all the good work that I did. And I, and I did that several times. And I emphasize to traders certain things. I've talked about sticking to Wednesdays and Fridays in the, in the beginning. And, and I've talked about sticking to instruments that you know well and that you've got a best trade setup on because I know all the I've done everything wrong in trading. I've, I've made a ton of mistakes. Uh, and, and I kid you not, and I talk to people about this repeatedly. I've mentioned this about gold. Uh, it's an, if you can master gold, you can make a lot of money. But if you're going to trade it, you have to trade it at your own risk and understand when you have an edge, not trying to trade it every day. I, I'm going to repeat this repeatedly each day. Your, your real job as a trader is to identify the highest possibility 90 10 opportunity on a day one a day two a day three no matter what the instrument it is and i know there are traders who only trade certain instruments that's your choice they've got that part of their parameter mastered and and i respect that if you're making money doing something keep doing it i'm only telling you what my perspective is and what i know works and i'm going to repeat this phrase you make money on the days that it's easy to make money on so consolidated markets, three levels of rise or fall into consolidation from a previous day's high or low are ideal candidates, especially on the front side of a move. One push, two push, three push, day one, day two, day three, whether that's the up direction, the down direction. Um, but there are other little things in terms of timings, levels, behavior of price. So major red news, wicks, no wicks, explosions, no change at all. Four types of news behaviors. Um, understanding the template that you're trading in. If you're trading the British pound uh, and it's a day two, uh, as opposed to trading perhaps maybe uh, the pound yen. Two different templates, not related. One may have a best trade setup. One may not even be set up at all. That, and again, it may move, but it doesn't mean that it's a best trade candidate. So... I'm looking for where is it easy to make money. And often the easiest place for to identify a best trade setup is when traders get dragged into a move. So if they dump it down first before a session or when a session begins without taking out the high or the low, or they pump it up first without taking out a higher low and get they get traders chasing a move. Price is always in a box. And if you're trading inside of the box, I've said this as well. There can be trades from the inside to the outside. But if you've got major red news or you're trading the news, that's another decision that you make. You need to manage your risk. You need to be able to tell time rotation because the longer you're in a trade, if it's not showing you profits or if it's getting close to a profit target and not hitting it, knowing when to get aggressive with trailing that if it's a profitable trade. Or if you're in an explosive move, having preset targets to take money out of the market. So little things like managing your risk, knowing being in control, not going on tilt. 
understanding the importance of presetting profit targets. So they take, I, I preset my majority of all my profit targets to take me out on an explosion, to take me out on a collapse with profit, locking it in and then either having, a, you know, a third or a quarter of that position still left trailing half, whatever that is, depending on what type of setup we're in. But these are all the things that need to be managed in live time. But going to the market prepared already knowing. And I mine everything with me is second nature now because I've been doing this for so long. Uh, and and with gold, if you keep trade, if if you have had, I know there's traders who got chopped up today. There's other traders who uh, were in that move long. The longer you trade it, hopefully the smarter you're getting. Uh, because gold. Uh, taught me the game and it did not spare me the rod. I repeat that over and over again. I There's not a whole lot of people that are going to have more things done to them than I did trading gold. Um, so, but I emphasize it's about hunting out the best setup. Uh, you're going to, it's markets like day two if you're in a choppy market. There was a big wick in the gap prior to the U.S. session opening. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. We've come out of a failed breakout on day one. That's 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 the new high. Remember I say 7.59 a.m., mark off your highs and lows. We're in a breakout market from a failed breakout on day one. That's higher highs. First hour puts a low in place. They auctioned it down and got people shorting into the breakout level before exploding and continuing that move back up through the high. But consolidated market, if you go back and look at that chart, is that a consolidated market? So it's consolidating up high for a continuation move, but is that an ideal market for trading size on? Or is it, is it even though that setup was there, is that, was that the best opportunity? So I repeat, hunting out the best pairs and taking your time. There is no rush. There was plenty of time this morning. We had over 90 minutes to assess those markets. So ask yourself this if you're getting into a trade on a small time frame. Am I aligning myself with other time frame traders or am I counter trending other time frame traders? Because remember, breaking out from a high through a low does not necessarily mean that that is a best trade candidate. Trying to sell the high or buy the low can often get traders caught on the front side of a week, day one, day two, day three. We can have a day one, two, three in a template that that is not great at all on any of those days for a best trade candidate, but that can set us up for a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday parabolic, whether that's long or short. Remember that if you don't have a clean template, traders often walk away, they forget about stuff, they, they're not patient enough to just scroll through every day and look for the simple stuff, a sell high setup at the high of the week or a buy low, low of the day, low of the week opportunity for a parabolic free cash Friday. So these are the things that are going on with people and why most retail traders struggle with consistency because they go on good positive streaks and then they get caught into choppy markets and, and they're still trying to trade an instrument as opposed to hunting out a best trade setup. They are distinctly two different things. Best trade setups have zero stress and zero emotion. They have zero stress and zero emotion. Trying to trade an instrument every day can become very stressful, especially if you want to put size into a market, especially if the volatility is increased and there's wicks as opposed to a consolidation that explodes. There's there's a big difference. So think about that and go back and review your charts today and, and ask yourself if you hunted out a best trade candidate. Uh, three levels of drop into consolidation, three levels of rise into a consolidation, whether that's a three session setup, a three day setup even a two day setup, day one, day two. If we're going front side, I'd expect day two to continue, right? Day one, day two, if I'm looking for three pushes, I'm either gonna expect it to continue in the direction of the, the original breakout, if there's already been a day one breakout, if it's giving us that type of setup, consolidation, after the news, into the open, same thing on the downside. Uh, and some, again, having a basket of instruments. So taking maybe three US dollar pairs and saying, which one shows me a template, a daily template that looks like a best trade candidate? Which index is set up the cleanest as a best trade candidate? Which one is performing the cleanest at the New York Open for an opportunity? Which, which commodity, oil, gold, or maybe another currency is set up as a best trade template? Remember, we talked about some day two templates, three levels of rise, collapse, uh, 
Breakout pullback continuations. Day two can break out in the direction of the trend and opening range breakout. So these are all little things that are critical because if you can't start to step back and really manage yourself, you're still susceptible to having one day, one bad day that can dent your account or blow your account out or cause you to engage in impulsive, irrational behavior. And I know that firsthand. I, I know how a lot of traders feel. I have felt the same way. And I found out, number one, that I was the biggest problem because even though I would go there with a set, set plan, I would engage in other types of erratic behavior and impulsiveness because of my overconfidence, um, you know, my lack of attention to detail with the real business plan of trading. There has to be a real understanding that everything is 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 timed and measured. So even the stuff in the gap and all that, you think you're you're missing out. So you need to get the high at the gap or the low at the gap. You're not missing out on anything. If it's going to move, and there's and and the high of the day is already put in place in the London Gap, that's perfect. That's giving you your thesis for a move to the low of the day, after news, whatever. So. Uh, but trying to make sure that you don't, you get the very high or you buy the very low and you have to be at the screen all day, that's not a best trade setup to me. My my best trade candidates allow me to position myself in the market as it's about to explode. Zero stress, zero emotion, and scalable in size because I'm aligning myself with other time frame traders. They're the ones driving those moves. That's why they'll continue for range expansions. And sometimes it may just be a, a move that completes at the end of that longer time frame, whether that's the next hour, the end of a four hour cycle, that type of scenario. So stepping back is the most powerful, important thing you can do. I, I demonstrated those templates on the weekend uh, from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They're, they're there every week. And an instrument may have a perfect template, but not necessarily give you a best trade setup within the day itself but it gives you a thesis so that you're not trying to counter trend it. And then if you see it on one, but it doesn't look as clean as another, a sister pair or a brother pair, whatever you want to call them, cross pair, but the cross pair may be actually the cleaner template. And so that's what we refer to as the hot chick. It may have already moved and, and the cross rate pair may be actually set up to have the explosive move in the session that you're trading. So there's no guesswork involved. Uh, if you do this long enough and you're methodical and you are focused on 1% better every single day, it's impossible for you to not get improving and get better. And understanding that once you see this for really for what it is, the three pushes, okay, the inside days, first red day, first green day, the parabolic moves, the parabolic three session setups, you can't, you'll just look at a chart and go, nope, garbage, nothing there. This isn't set up right. That's how you need to get to that point. Because otherwise you're going to get, it's the day two chops or an inside day that traders try to trade on an inside day that's not part of a, a larger breakout, a longer term, longer time frame breakout and they get caught into a market that's chopping or they're oversized into something that's not even has edge. Little things. So remember, you want to be able to size the best and scalp the rest. Day one, day two, day three, we're looking for escalator, elevator type of trades, whether they're in the long direction or the short direction, whether they're three-day three, three day setups or three-session setups. Think about that. That's so important. Escalator, elevator, escalator, elevator. Trying to snag the high and buy the low can get you caught counter-trending the front side of a market still on a range expansion setting up in day one, day two, day three. So... Focus on getting better, traders. It was Free Cash Tuesdays. We had a huge moves today. Huge moves. And tomorrow is day three in a Monday to Wednesday three-day template. And we're going to have Free Cash Wednesday. Where and when, no idea. We'll see how it sets up over the next 16, 20 hours. And we'll go from there. Manage yourself. Master the setups. Master lifetime execution. Master the psychology of locking in profits and managing your risk. And walking away and not engaging in impulsive, or impulsive irrational behavior. No self-sabotaging self destructive habits. Have a great day, traders. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. This whole week. I know Friday's going to be a big day. You can already see it coming. Have a great day. Get out. Get some sunshine. Just had a great workout. Get on with our day.